Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome back to Was the About video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and first try to find out whether there are any errors in the program and if you guys think there are no errors, then try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just uh, click on the play button, I'm gonna run the program and uh, explain the output. All right, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer or you know, the output of this program is x equal to 101 and y equal to 200. So now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this? So here in this program, if you look at the source code, we have the variables x and y and both of them are integer variables and we have stored the values 100 and 200 in them respectively. And then we have this if statement and in the condition part, we have used the logical or operator and then we have used the increment operators in the prefix form with these variables x and y. So now here the output of this program is depending on how this logical or operator is executed by C. So now let's see how this logical or operator works. Here the logical operator is going to work on two operands. One which is in the left side is called left operand and one which is in the right side is called right operand. And normally when we use this in our program it's going to look something like this. In the left and uh, right operands, we're gonna have the expressions. And uh, here, how this logical OR operator works is, if the both operands of this logical OR operator are evaluated to false, then only the outcome of the whole operation will be false. For example, let's say this expression one is gonna be evaluated to false. And in C, all of you know that false is considered as uh, zero. It's gonna be zero then the logical OR operator and let's say this expression 2 also evaluated to false which is going to be 0 then this whole logical OR operation result is going to be 0 if any one operand is true then the whole operations result is going to be true in C any non-zero value is uh, used to denote the true here we're going to use 1 so 1 or zero you know the outcome of this whole operation is going to be true let's uh, let me denote that by one and zero or one which is also going to be one and one or one which is also evaluated to one so here the thing is if both of the operands of this logical or operator is evaluated to false then only the outcome of the whole operation will be false otherwise it's gonna be true and now another thing to notice is when you use the logical or operator at that time if the left operand is evaluated to true then there is no need to check for this right operand because since this left operand is true and one of the operand of this logical operator is true so the outcome will be true we know that and that's why there is no need to check for the second operand if this first operand is evaluated to true if this first operand of this logical or operator is evaluated to false like uh, in this case then we need to check for the right operand in order to determine the outcome of this logical or operation because if this right operand is evaluated to true then the outcome of the whole operation will be true if this right operand is evaluated to false then the outcome will be false here the main thing is if the left operand is evaluated to true then there is no need to check for this right operand we can straight away say that okay the outcome of this whole logical or operation is gonna be true and what happens is to optimize the performance of your program C is gonna do the same thing when uh, you have an expression involving the logical or operator at that time C will check for the outcome of the left operand first if it is true then it will not check for the right operand to save the execution time 
If the left operand is evaluated to false, then only C will check for the outcome of the right operand in order to compute the outcome of the whole logical or operation. So here, one thing to remember is if this left operand is evaluated to true, then C will not execute the right operand. And that is what happens here in this program. Here, in this condition part, we have the logical OR operator. And in the left operand, we have plus plus X. And in the right operand, we have plus plus Y. As I said before, this plus plus is the increment operators in the prefix form. And since we have this logical OR operator here, first C will check for the outcome of the left operand. Here we have plus plus X. X is containing a value of 100 and plus plus X is going to make this 101. This 101 is a non-zero value and it is considered as true. Here the left operand of this logical OR operator is evaluated to true. That means that it doesn't matter what this right operand will be evaluated. The outcome of this whole operation will be true just because this left operand is true. And that's why to save the execution time, C will not check for this right operand and it will not execute this plus plus Y. It will only execute this plus plus X. And since this left operand's result is true, C straight away says that, okay, the outcome of this whole logical OR operation is true. And here, if true, and that's why, you know, this if condition satisfies, so we can execute the printf statement, which is inside this uh, if block. So X variables value will become 101 and Y variables value will remain in 200 because this plus plus Y will not be executed by the C just because this uh, left operand is evaluated to true. And that's why, you know, we can get X equal to 101 and Y equal to 200. If you want to check this, you guys can change this X variables value as minus one and uh, then build and run this. And now you guys can see X is zero and Y is 201. That's because here this X is containing minus one. And because of this logical OR operator, C will first execute this plus plus X. Plus plus X is gonna increment the value of this X variable, so it's gonna become zero. In C, zero is considered as false. Since the left operand of this logical OR operator is evaluated to false, it will check for the right operand in order to compute the outcome of this whole logical operation. And that's why, you know, this plus plus X will be executed and also this plus plus Y will be executed. Here the Y variable is containing 200 and plus plus Y is gonna make it 201, which is a non-zero value. And that's why it is considered as true. So the left operand is false and this right operand is true. Since any one of the operand of this logical OR operator is true, the outcome of this whole operation will be true. And that's why this if condition will be satisfied and this printf statement will be executed and it's gonna print out x equal to zero and y equal to 201. So this is it guys for this tutorial. Hope you guys have learned something. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.